Okay, students, uh, we have launched the IBPS SO marketing course for this year. We are providing the classes for pre and the mains exams, and we are covering each and every topic, all the subjects. So, there are video classes that you can watch anytime, and then there are live sessions. We are providing the study material that you can download on your dashboard, right? You can download the PDFs. There are mock test series. We are providing 10 full length tests for both pre and the mains exams. Then there are unit tests and we are providing special attention to the professional knowledge section. So students, we are not just providing the courses for the marketing. There are course for the courses for the HR and the law officer, right? Systematic study plan is provided and we provide the interview preparation guidance, right? Once the exams are over, we are going to provide you interview preparation course, right? So list of our students who cracked the exams using the bank exams today's courses in previous years in 2021, there were just 60 vacancies and out of those 60, six students were from our batch. And then in 2020, 119 students finally uh, got selected. All these students that took our courses and they cracked their respective exams, right? And in 2019, all these students, so we have uh, an experience of like six years to for teaching for IBPS SO marketing in 2021, 2020, 2019. So this year we got 535 vacancies for only marketing, SO marketing. So it's a, a golden opportunity, I would say, right? So if there is any doubt in your mind, you can drop us a WhatsApp message 9067201000. This is our WhatsApp number. Now let's get back to the session. Thank you. We'll solve some questions here. So question number first is on your screen. It says four years ago, the ratio of ages of Gaurav and Amirav was five ratio seven. 10 year hence, that means Ajke Das Salva, right? Talking about present scenario and 10 years later, the ratio will be 11 ratio 14. Now find the present age of God. This is a standard question. We'll try to set an approach here. So if I say four years ago, four years ago, the ratio of Gaurav, the ratio of ages of Gaurav and Amirav, the ratio was five ratio seven. Right, and 10 years, 10, 10 years hence. So, means after 10 years, hence I mean to say four years ago, then present, then 10 years more, 10 years later. The ratio will be 11 ratio 14. Right, so in short, I'm talking about a 14 year age here, 14 years gap. total gap between uh, uh, four years ago present and the total gap between four years ago and 10 years from hence 10 years from present the total gap is 14 years right now if you see the age gap between two persons never changes it remains constant for example if a father is let's just say 35 at present and uh, the son is the son is eight years old. So right now the age gap is 27 years, right? But after 10 years, after 10 years, their ages will be like 45 and 18. But again, the age gap will remain constant times 27 years. So now we, we are assuming that four years ago, we were assuming that Gaurav's age is five units and Amir's age is seven units. So, so that their ratio were five ratio seven. And after 10 years from here, their ratio will be 11 ratio 14. So we are assuming that uh, age of Gaurav will be 11 units and Ami will be 14 units, right? But you can see the age gap between them four years ago was two units. And now the age gap is three units. It shouldn't be there. The age gap should be const kept constant. So to keep constant, uh, we'll try to uh, uh, make the same, uh, we'll try to bring them to the same value, the difference should be same. So 
to uh, to equalize two and three, we should make them their LCM. So the LCM of two and three is six. So to make the gap of two to six, I'll multiply it by three. And to make the gap of three to six, I'll multiply it by two. So now multiplying it by two, it will be 22 and 18. And multiplying by three, it will be 15 and 21. 15 and 21. Now you can see the age gap between them is constant and also there is a gap of seven units between the between the ages of Gaurav and Ami. Age, the age gap here you can see is seven units but actually it should be equal to 14 years. So the value of seven units should be equal to 14 years. So I can say the value of one unit is equal to 14 divided by two, seven, that is two years, right? So event, I, uh, so in this manner, I can say the age of Gaurav, age of Gaurav, let me just erase it. Age of Gaurav, four years ago, four years ago, the age of Gaurav was 30 years and the age of Ame was 42 years, right? Four years ago, Gaurav was 30 years ago. Uh, sorry, four years ago, the Gaurav was 30 years old. So now present in the present scenario, that will be four years added. It, the age of Gaurav will be equal to 30 plus 4, 34. So this is your answer for this question. Clear? I hope you have understood the question. Let's move on to the next question. The question says, average present age of Arav and Shweta is 28 years. So I can say the present, talking about the present ages, talking about present ages, Arav, the ages of Arav and Shweta, the summation should be equal to 56. Right, the average will be divided by 2 is equals to 28. So, in short, I can say their summation should be equal to 56. Clear now the ratio between their ages after 8 years. So after 8 years, after 8 years, the ratio between Arav and Shweta's age will be 7 ratio 5. Let's just say that. The, after 8 years, their ages will be like A is equal to 7x and Shweta will be, the age of Shweta will be 5x. Clear? But also we know that if this, if they, if the sum of their ages at present is 56, so after 8 years, 8 will, 8 years will be added to Arav's age and 8 years will also be added to Shweta's age. So in, in total, in total, 16 years will be added to total sum of Arav's age and Shweta's age, right? So their sum, sum should be equal to 56 plus 16, 72 years after 8 years. So I can say after 8 years, Arav and Shweta's age that their summation that is 12x should be equal to 72 years. So hence I can say x the value, value of x is 6. And after eight years, the, <clears throat> the age of R will be seven into six, that is 42. And some, uh, and uh, Shweta's age will be 30 years after eight years. After eight years. So present age, if I talk about present age, present age of A will be 34 and S will be now, 8 years subtracting 8 from 30, that is 22, right? Now, question is asking, find the age of Shweta after 2 years from present. After 2 years from present, 22 plus 2 is 24, clear? So, I hope this is clear now. Next question is, 
the next question says the ratio of ages of hemant and jayesh is 7 ratio m hemant is 12 years younger to sahil okay and after 18 years sahil will be 72 years old so present ages of hemant and jayesh they are in the ratio of 7 ratio m okay hemant is 12 years younger to sahil and after 18 years sahil will be 72 years old so present age of sahil present age of sahil will be 72 minus 18 and that is equal to 18 plus 4 22 plus 50 72 54 years right so present age of sahil is 54 years and hemant is 12 years younger to him so present age of hemant will be equal to 42 years no so now we have the ratio of hemant to jayesh that is 7 ratio m so i can say is if 7 is compared to 42 years we will get the 1 one unit value will be 6 and similarly i can say the present age of jayesh will be 6m right and also if the difference between ages of hemant and jayesh is equal to the age of sahil 6 years ago difference between ages of hemant and jayesh so either i can say difference now he is asking about difference he he is not telling us which one is greater 42 is greater or 6m is greater right only we have the information about their difference so i can say either 42 minus 6m this will also be equal to difference or i can say 6m minus 42 this will also be uh, taken as a difference so now the difference should be equal to sahil age 6 years ago so now sahil is 54 6 years ago his age will be 48 right like 6m minus similarly 6m minus 42 should also be equal to 48 in this case 6m should be equal to 42 minus 48 and the value of m will be minus 1 in this case which cannot happen which is not possible because if you put the value of m here in jayesh age so it will be minus 6 age of a person can never go negative so this is not the possible case the second possible case is 6m minus 42 is equals to 48 so 42 will go to the other side and will get added so 6m should be equal to 90 the value of m will be 15 that's it so this is our answer here find the value of m so the value of m will be 15 i hope you have understood the question here clear okay let's move to the next question the ratio of present ages of kavya and raj is 6 ratio 7 present ages of dhruv present age of dhruv is equal to sum of present ages of raj and kavya so the <clears throat> talking about present ages talking about present ages kavya's age and raj's age they are in the ratio 6 ratio 7 Six ratio seven. So I can say Kavya's age is six x, and Raj's age is seven x. Clear? And also Dhruv's age is Dhruv's age is the equal to the sum of present ages. So six x plus seven x that is thirteen x. Now the ratio of ages of Kavya eight years later. So eight years later, the the age of Kavya will be six x plus eight to the ratio. Now two ratio to the age of Raj nine years ago. Raj the age of Raj is seven x today, and nine years ago it will be seven x minus nine. This ratio should be equal to four ratio three. So now cross multiplying. So three into six x eighteen plus eight twenty four. Four into seven x twenty eight x minus thirty six. Right. Twenty eight minus eighteen that will be ten x and thirty six plus four. 16, 36 plus 24, 16. So the value of x will be 6 here. So I can say the age of Kavya will be 36. Raj will be 42, and Dhruv's age will be 78. Clear? Now we have to find out the ratio of present age of Dhruv 
present age of Dhru and Raj's age three years ago. Three years ago. So present age of Dhruv is 78 and Raj's age is 42 right now. So three years ago he will be he, he would have 39 years old, right? So 39 say Utrahava. So the ratio is required ratio is 2 ratio 1. So this is your answer. Clear? I hope you are getting it. Okay, let's move to the next question. Next question is on your screen. The question says two years ago, four by seven of Vinesh and three by fifth of Bhanu's age was in ratio of four ratio three. So he says four by seventh of Vinesh age was four, right? Four units, right? And, or I can say it was four X and three by five of Bhanu's age was in three units or I can say three X. So I can say the Vinesh present age will be equal to, no, sorry, two years ago. Two years ago, the Vinesh age was 7x and Bhanu's age was 5x. And in short, their ratio was, their ratio was 7 ratio 5, two years ago. And four years hence, means four years later, their ratio will become their ratio will be again 4 ratio 3. Their ratio will be again 4 ratio 3. So 2 years ago, 2 years ago, the ages of Vinesh and Bhanu were in ratio 7 ratio 5. Right? And 4 years hence, 4 years hence means two years ago, then present, then plus four, right? The ratio will be again four ratio three. Again, we can apply the same logic that within this, this six years gap, that within this six years gap, the age gap between two persons, age gap between two persons will remain constant always. Now you can see in the first situation, the age gap is two units and in second situation, the age gap is one unit. It shouldn't be there. It should also be equal to two units. So we'll just multiply it by two. So now I can say it is equal to eight and six. The ratio is maintained four ratio three it is, right? And also age gap is also two here. Now you can see here, according to these ratios, the age gap, uh, the the time gap, the time gap between Bhanu's two ages is equal to one unit. But it should be equal to six years. So the value of one unit is six years here. So I can say two years ago, two years ago, Vinesh age was, Vinesh age was 42 and Bhanu's age was 30. So now the present ages will be present age of Vinesh will be 44 and Bhanu's age will be 32. Now he is asking 25% means 1 by 4 of present sum of present ages of both. So that is 4 plus 2, 6, 4 plus 3, 7. So 1 by 4 of 76 is 4 1s of 4, 3 left, 6 will come down, 4 9, 36. So 19 into 4 is 76. This is your answer. Clear? So I hope you have understood how uh, how many types of uh, questions based on ages you can see here, right? So this is a kind of a brief, you know, a brief explanation of this topic. And I have uh, tried to explain in a very simple manner how to tackle the questions of, uh, how to uh, tackle the questions of ages. For detailed explanation and for more practice, you can subscribe to the batch, you can purchase the batch. And for more such topics, right, more such topics and more practice questions and also for tests and also for more, uh, you know, elaborated guidance, you can purchase the batch and everything will be provided to you and that will be a quality video, okay?